To the latest now on Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A Russian airstrike on a training base near the Ukrainian city of Lviv has left at least 35 people dead. Regional officials say the attack happened around 6 a.m. Sunday at the International Peacekeeping and Security Center. The location includes a training center for soldiers, predominantly for peacekeeping missions. The governor of the Lviv region says the attack of more than 30 cruise missiles also left at least 57 people injured. And just hours ago, Ukraine's defense minister condemned the round of Russian aggression, calling it a terrorist attack. He added, quote, close the sky, echoing calls from Ukraine's president to establish a no-fly zone over Ukraine. That's something the U.S. and NATO have so far refused to do. Now, this latest attack comes as Russian forces close in on the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. British defense officials say the bulk of Russian soldiers are now only about a dozen miles from the city center. Satellite images show Russian airstrikes destroying infrastructure to the north and south of Kyiv, including a massive fire at a warehouse you see there. And just 30 miles west of Kyiv, major damage to apartment complexes, schools, and a medical facility. Tama Pontin has the latest. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says negotiations between Ukraine and Russia must begin with a ceasefire. The enemy is bringing new and new columns into our territory. We need everything. Military jet, anti-tank, air, anti-aircraft missiles, from nutrition to ammunition. Everything. Saturday, President Biden ordering the release of an additional $200 million in security assistance to Ukraine. These dollars will help provide at least some additional weapons, but it's truly an unfair fight. All of this as the human cost of the war grows. The UN says more than two and a half million Ukrainians have already fled the country. The problem of uh, supplies of uh, food and medicine, uh, so far we are trying to deal with it, but uh, the situation might worsen. Well, Russia has warned the U.S. about the potential consequences of transferring weapons to Ukraine, saying convoys with foreign weapons would become, quote, legitimate targets.